Um, we are going to get an answer when we start filing defamation lawsuits. Wow. It's going to go to that? You well, feel the, that the your media has been Without question. She's been called a racist. She's been called a thief. Um, there are reasons defamation laws exist, and we plan to pursue that. Let's get ready to rumble! How many times have you heard that white people don't know what it's like to be judged based on our skin color? Which is funny because that's ironically part of a broad generalization of white people called white privilege. Well, recently we got yet another example of this increasingly normalized tendency to broadly judge and condemn white people for simply existing as white people. The roughly two minute video starts with a white woman wearing hospital scrubs straddling a city bike screaming for help even though she doesn't appear to be in danger. What? Civil rights attorney Ben Crom tweeting, this is unacceptable. And she grossly tried to weaponize her tears to paint this man as a threat. This is exactly the type of behavior that has endangered so many black men in the past. Mm -hmm. That woman lives in this building with me. It's clearly like a Karen, a Central Park Karen. Says she's viewed as a victim because she's white. And she thinks that that's obvious in this America that we all live in. Mm -hmm. What is seen outside Bellevue? A hospital worker trying to take a city bike from a young man who appears to have gotten the bike first on his account. I don't think so. The confrontation grew quickly between the white hospital employee and young black men just getting ready for a bike ride. Kind of shows the level of like, oh, the entitlement that like, oh, I need to have this right now. Mm -hmm. We've all been in hospitals. They serve all over New York City. Do you really want that type of person if you're coming in hurt? Do you want them serving you? I think it's just a bad look. Now you see now, you know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? The media wasn't alone in this. Left-wingers on Twitter said some of the most insanely racist things I've ever seen. A suspected white supremacist woman tried to steal a city bike from a black kid after he paid for it. She went through all the Karen tactics to try and get the black youths hemmed up. Or how about self-identified journalist Monique Judge, who said, quote, city bike Karen has deleted all her social media accounts. Don't hide now. Be as loud and proud as you were when you weaponized your white lady tears and screamed help to try and get those young black men killed. Or how about this guy who originally doxxed her and whose video got nearly 270,000 likes with over 3 million views. Hello, Sarah Jane Comrie. Absolutely disgusting and revolting move you tried there. Uh, shout out to those guys there who showed absolute restraint. This tactic is used on men of color quite often and what's really scary about it is a lot of times these lies work or how about news one which is a black centric news outlet who said even with video evidence showing her manipulative and racist behavior people online are defending city bike karen calling her the victim white people like her always get the benefit of the doubt but she's not getting the benefit of the doubt the hospital suspended her and the mass media is demonizing her as a racist well as it turns out the woman was a victim and those black men were trying to steal a bike that she had already paid for. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. So once again, the media has jumped the gun and condemned an innocent person because it fit their narratives. Much like the Covington Kids story or Jussie Smollett or Kyle Rittenhouse or Bubba Wallace or many other mistakes they've made in the past that have cost them in defamation cases. And it's going to cost them again because the lawyer has made clear they're coming for all the media outlets that demonize this woman for her skin color and incited actual violent threats against her. There's a lot of evidence play um i mean obviously her job is important uh it's critical and they can do their investigation take the time they need but i mean she's received death threats you know her family has been she's in hiding you know what's at play is what social media did to this woman who is literally a hero and has done nothing but help people and within one minute um effectively tries to ruin okay, her life but I, i'm keying in on this last line free of discrimination do they allege this is racism <laughs> that's what the media portrays and that's what it looks like. But that's, what, the, that's what her employer is saying here. Correct. That's what it looks like. Okay. Um, we are going to get an answer when we start filing defamation lawsuits. Wow. It's going to go to that? You well, feel the, that the your media has defamed? Without question. She's been called a racist. She's been called a thief. Um, there are reasons defamation laws exist and we plan to pursue that. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.